I've decided to upgrade the motor from the sawmill. This is my new motor from I think Harbor Freight. It is a two horsepower instead of the one horsepower. The only thing is I have to build a dual grooved V-belt pulley for this 7 8 inch shaft. I know, we got a mouse. This is the old setup and you can see it was a one horsepower motor with a little one groove pulley and I had to gear reduction it because this was a 30, what is it, 3450 RPM. This one is an 1800 RPM so I won't even need to uh, gear it down at all. I'll just put a three inch pulley right here and it'll go straight to driving the uh, big pulley on the uh, on the sawmill. And I've already rigged it up with a salvaged power cord and I've tested it and it is turning the proper direction. But anyway, this is now time for me to build the three inch pulley. So the first thing we need to do is uh, find some stock that I can put a three inch round plug out of. Let's see here. I need this to be two and three quarters long. Thank you for the block. You're welcome. see here if we can even do this. Why do you need to put a circle on it? To know how much stuff to cut off of it. Yeah, that's over three inches. So if I cut all that off, that'd be good. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can cut this off. Okay, now we got to put a half inch hole through this thing to begin with. Okay, this is my table saw lathe rig, a la Izzy Swan. So I have a drill over here that has an adapter that goes to the socket that fits onto this. And it can spin this piece of wood. And as it's spinning that piece of wood, it's going to be pushed past the table saw blade, which is going to carve it into a perfect round. So let's set this up and give it a go. Okay, and here we have our nice round stock. Table saw was uh, cutting it as we pushed it past. Let's see, this is my rig for attempting to make V-belt pulleys. Basically this gets spun past the blade which is tilted at 15 degrees. And we just make kind of a V-cut into each of the two grooves that I need. Let's see if this works. Okay, we have rotated this around to make the cuts into the other sides.
Okay, this is what we have after a bit of cleanup. We've got the two V-belt grooves, and uh, now I have to drill the hole out to be 7 8 because that's the size of the shaft it's going on. So I have both of those drawn. Then I've got my bit chucked up. Now I just have to see if I can drill that accurately. broke through. Oh, it pushed a plug. Huh. Okay. But there we have our 70 hole. Next step is to put a little groove in here for the key. Okay, so this is the best idea I have. I've drawn on here a couple of lines for the uh, key, and now I'm going to put a cut as straight as I can down the inside of this with my little saw here. And that will probably do. Now it's time to get the saw out of here and kind of chisel that out. So here we have the wooden V-belt pulley. Um, just friction fit onto the shaft. I'm going to give it a test real quick just to see if it flies apart as is. Uh, so, let's see what happens. Let's find a good angle for the camera here. Okay, let's see here what happens. Well, it definitely goes a lot faster, but I think we have some slippage going on between the belts. Of course, this belt being older, it uh, isn't as tight. I don't know, maybe I'll need to figure out some sort of an idler or something. Tension, maybe. Okay, so this has successfully gone through the log twice now. And there is no set screw, it's just frictioned on there. And I'm surprised it didn't break to pieces. I kind of expected this thing to just fly apart the first time I used it but it did pretty well.